still leaving the line at the grandstand as the leaders come pouring down Bray Hill up the other side on towards Quarter Bridge. This is Dave Molyneux round the right turn at Quarter Bridge and just heading out towards Braddon and you can see already that Rob Fisher is closing in. It does look as if Dave Molly and Doug Jewell are already being caught. Through the turns at Braddon with Fisher on the tail. And that was number four. That was Greg Lambert. This is three. This is Tom Hanks and Steve Wilson is the man in the chair as they go round. But oh, and Wilson's out of it. Slaps his shoulder on the railings at Braddon Bridge. And he's up walking. He's obviously not a very happy bunny about that. Here it is again. He just lifted his head out in time to see what was going to happen to it. Just cuts in too close to the railings. There is the touch on the bars and off he goes. He's just pitched out of his seat. Hanks knew it had happened, looked back over his shoulder and you see Steve Wilson gets up on his feet. No problems for him other than he's going to be very sore indeed as we join Mick Bodice on the run down Glen Cruttery Road towards the crossroads at St Ninian's. Flat out now, tucked in the seats and the road starts to drop away just here. And you still can't see the bottom of Bray. Hard on the gas. Straight line through here and up the other side. Agos leap and it all goes terribly like there. And still one more jump to do as they go on towards Quarter Bridge on the line, number 10. That's John Holden with Ian Watson beside him. 100 seconds after the leader. They start at 10 second intervals, remember? So 100 seconds after Dave Molyneux's gone up the road. So number 10, John Holden leaves. This is eight. This is Kenny Howell, Tony Darby beside him. And that's the line you need to take around Braddon Church. And look at this, we saw Rob Fisher closing in on Dave Molyneux at Quarter Bridge going out towards Braddon. Here they are at Ballacrane and Fisher is through.